Hello, Mad Ant two fifty here. In my last video, I looked over some RC parts that were three D printed by Shapeways. In this video, I talk about a Tamiya Hornet and those three D printed parts. Now, a Tamiya Hornet. It is known to not have the best handling. It, the front end can get kind of bouncy and out of control. And in certain situations, you can get that wheel hop and front end hop and the car will just do an instant 180. Which is a... Uh, not fun sometimes. It does happen when cornering. And it does sometimes happen going in a straight line when you hit something like a piece of gravel or a crack. So, I've decided I want to improve the handling of the car. So after watching a bunch of videos by Ampro Engineering, I then hopped over onto Shapeway's website, went to Ampro Engineering store, and ordered me the front suspension upgrade parts and rear suspension mount. Installation of the parts went pretty easy. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Then I took it out for a test drive and noticed a change in the handling. Now, some of it was due to the oil-filled shocks I had, but the biggest improvement was from the double wishbone suspension parts and the lower center of gravity, because now the front end could now sit a little lower, and I have the rear end sitting a little bit lower because now the shocks are at a different angle so this made the handling more predictable and a joy to drive it's just it's just nice i could slide it around slide it back and forth you can see here in the dusty area of the parking lot and I'm just sliding it back and forth. And this thing just can straighten back out and keep control. Even sliding a turn. Even jumping has improved when it, you know, gets some air and lands that jump. There's a bit of a lip there on the curb that's allowing the car to kind of launch off. And that's just me hitting things at the wrong angle. And, um, well, I broke it. Yep, I definitely broke it. Here it is. It just so happened I uh, hit the curb at just the right angle. And it wasn't, it wasn't the tire that hit the curb either, it was the control arm itself that hit that lip of the curb and, well, broke it. So it's, it's not the part's fault. Everything just so happened to line up correctly. So I just super glued it back together and went back to having fun. Of course I ordered some spare control arms afterwards. But anyway, that's gonna do it for now. My final thoughts and opinions will be in part two. I am just waiting for some parts. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.